I'm getting ready to go to South Africa and this huge fear starts coming into me. I mean, I'm getting ready to leave and then my friend, my friend, this guy who's supposed to be running my apartment in, in, in Los Angeles, he just totally bails on me, bags the, the situation and then, and then I, I gotta pay all this money all of a sudden. I'm gonna be in South Africa and I'm gonna have to pay all this money. And then I was supposed to go to this place to get these yellow fever shots and th this vaccination. They told me I needed to get this thing or else I couldn't go to South Africa and I tried to find the place. The, the place was closed and, and I'm leaving the next day and so, so I started to freak out and then I started thinking what if I get to, I, what if I get to South Africa and nobody's there to pick me up? And what if I get to South Africa and, and, and there's just all these elephants and, and giraffes and, and rhinos and stuff at the airport and, and, and I'm like totally closed in and then I, I start to get so freaked out. I, I start to get this fever and I, I'm so, I'm so feverish. I call my friend, I'm like, what's, what, look, help me out, man. And he's like, look, maybe you should just cancel this trip. And I was like, maybe, hold on. You know what? I told him no. I decided to do this, and I'm gonna do it. That's all there is to it. So I got on this plane, this 22 hour flight, with this fever, but you know what? It's actually a good thing because this whole plane trip there, I was able to just sleep. I got to South Africa, and Verity was there at the airport to pick me up. And when I saw her there, I knew everything was gonna be okay.